We have a test tomorrow over percent. So we're going to work through the review. You do get to use your calculator on that test. So be aware that you may do all your calculations with the calculator, but you have to show this setup. Jessica bought some clothes on sale. She paid $122 for the clothes at a discount of 25%. What would she have paid for the clothes at the regular price? So, guys, this is not the 25%. If it was a discount of 25%, then she is going to pay 75%. So, please be careful when you set up your proportion when you would say 75% over 100 is equal to part over whole. Well, this is the amount she paid after the discount. So, we need to find the whole. So, we can, once you set it up, and you can use your calculator, you can say 100 times 123 divided by 75. So she paid for the regular price, not what she paid, the regular price of $164. So make sure that you're reading really, really carefully. 30% of the students prefer first lunch versus second lunch at Hill. How many out of 1,300 students would you expect to prefer second lunch? So again, reading carefully, 30% prefer first versus second. That means 70% prefer second lunch. So again, 70 over 100, percent over 100. This is your whole. So that is going to be your 100%. And after you've set it up, then and only then, will you use your calculator. So 910 students prefer lunch. Now, you could use the 30 here, and whatever you got, you would then subtract from 1,300. That's the second way you could do this. Um, out of 32 Hill Middle School parents surveyed, 17 drive their children to school. What percent of the parents drive their children to school? So, we have a part over a whole situation, and we're going to look for that percent out of 100. So, we have 17 out of 32 drive their children to school. Make sure that you're comparing the correct things equal some percent over 100. So I can say 1700 divided by 32. Okay, if you get a fraction like this, you do have a couple options. You can put in 1700 decimal divided by 32, or you can do control enter. So we would say approximately 53% drive to school. What percent do not now? Well, if 53% do, then we can say 100% minus 53%, 47% do not drive to school. Okay. If these 32 parents are representative of the entire Hill community, Of 900 parents, how many parents out of that 900 would you expect to drive to school? So again, so this 32 up here is representative of the whole. So the 32 is going to be equal to the 900. And then we have 53% of those drive to school. I'm sorry, not the 30. We're not going to do the 32 here. This is our 100%. I apologize. And we have a 53%. And we want to know the value of that. We are saying the 32 is the 53%. So we're going to say 53 times 100 divided by 100. So we are going to say approximately, because we were estimating up here, 177 students are driven to school. The copy machine at Tejeda is capable of making copies that are enlarged to 120% of its original value. Write an equation that represents the relationship between an original copy C and an enlarged copy. So to get the enlarged copy, we're going to have to change this one to 1.2 times the copy gives you the enlargement. Now we could also say 
that the copy is 100%, and the enlargement is 120%. You could set up by cross multiplying and dividing here, where you would say 120C equals 100E and divide by 100. 120 divided by 100.2. Use the equation to find the width of a square on an enlarged copy of a square that is 4 inches wide on the original. So this is our C. So say 1.2 times 4 equals the enlarged. 1.2 times 4 is 4.8 inches. page on Monday night. 20% of TV shows are comedies. There are 13 comedies on Monday night. How many total shows are on Monday night? So if 21% are comedies and that's going to be the number 13, 13 is your part. You're looking for your whole percent over 100. So 13 times 100 is 1300 divided by 21. Call this about 61. We'll call it 62 shows are on Monday. Okay. Nicole made 24 percent of her salary in tips, receiving 28. So this is her 24 percent. What is her daily salary? So 24 over 100 percent over 100 equals. This is her part. We are looking for the whole. We're going to say 28 times 100, 2800 divided by 24 is, we'll round that to 67. So $116.67 is her salary. 21% of people wore baseball caps to the race on Sunday. 120 people wore baseball caps. So again, these percent matches this number, how many people attended the race. So we're looking for the whole. So 20 out of 100 equals part over whole. Make sure you're setting it up out of 20 times 100 divided by you could also find a scale factor there if you wanted, so we're going to say 2,600 people attended the race. Terry has a goal of making $300 in commissions for the week if her commission rate is 18% of the sales, so this is her commission. How much does she need to sell? So 18 over 100. And again, this is her part. This is that 18%. You're looking for the whole. 300 times 100 divided by 18. So she needs to sell 1,666.67 to make her goal. Five friends went out to dinner. The bill came to $85. They're leaving a 17% tip because the waiter did a good job. If they split the bill evenly, how much will each person pay? So you're going to have to do a couple of different things here. So first of all, you need to find 17% okay, out of 85. 85 was our whole. That's going to be the tip amount. We can add it in. So 17 times 85 divided by 100, 14. Oh, sorry. Uh, I hit the wrong button. 17 times 80. Oh my goodness. Sorry. 17 times 85. And then divide that by 100. Have $14.45. That is the tip. If we add that to the $85 bill, their total with tip is going to be this $9.50. 
99.45. But they're going to split it evenly, and they're five friends. So you're going to have to take $99.45 divided by five friends. Five, $19.89 each. Okay. Jason earns $8.50 an hour. If his hourly rate is increased by 20%, will his total earnings be before taxes for working $12? So you need to find his new hourly rate. So if $8.50 was his original hourly rate, that was his 100%, but it increased by 20. So now he gets paid 120% of that. 850 times 120 divided by 100. His, his new hourly rate is $10.20. But it says he's going to work for 12 hours. So we're going to have to do $10.20 times 12 hours. $122.40. The number of veterinarians in California increased by 12.5%, and the original number was 1,215, was the new number of veterinarians. So, again, this is our increase. So we can say uh, 12.5 over 100, that's our percent over 100. This is our original 100%. We're going to see how much it went up from 12.5 times 12.15 divided by 100. One, we'll call it 152-ish increase. So you're going to have to put those together. So that amount plus the 12.15 original is about a hundred and did I put that in twelve fifteen? Yes I did. About thirteen call it sixty seven. A new number of that. Okay. On the back, what is the discount on a stethoscope? That is marked down from three hundred to 250. So again, this is a markdown. Markups and markdowns. Remember, we're doing difference over the original times 100. So the difference was 300 minus 250 over the original. This is our original price. 300 times 100. So I know 300 minus 250 is 50. Divided by 300 times 100. So the discount percentage, we know that this is 16 and 2 thirds percent discount. Roderick applies at $6,000 in an account that earns 5.5 simple interest. How long will it be before the interest is 3,000? So this is I, this is P, this is R. So remember I equals P, R, T. So you're going to have to work backwards here. We're going to say 3,000 is equal to 6,000 times, you're going to make this a decimal, 0 0.055 times T in years. I can go ahead and multiply 6,000 times 0 0.055. So I have 3,000 is equal to 330 multiplied by T. And I know to solve this equation, I need to divide. Equals if I do 3,000 divided by 330, we'll call it about nine years. 